Hi, and welcome to Fitness at the Plaza, presented by Blue Shield of Northeastern New York. We're so excited you're joining us for today's virtual fitness fusion with the hot yoga spot. If you're interested in joining us in person for a future class, please visit empirestateplaza.ny.gov. There, you will find our full schedule along with our health and safety plan. Masks, social distancing, and pre-registration are required for all in-person classes. As a community-based health plan, Blue Shield of Northeastern New York is proud to partner with the New York State Office of General Services to provide free fitness classes to our community. And now, it's time to get our blood pumping, so I'll turn it over to Kirsten to get started. Thanks so much for coming. Welcome to Fitness at the Plaza. My name is Kirsten, I'm an instructor at the Hot Yoga Spot. So just a brief overview for those of you who may have never taken class before. The first half of class will be a fitness class, clearly. Um, we'll focus on doing some strength training using just our bodies and our body weight. And then the second half of class will be a slower, more gentle, feel-good yoga practice. Um, so since it is a more all levels class, I'll be offering plenty of options throughout. You know that some of those options may be to take modifications throughout the practice. For example, if we're in a plank pose, you can always modify from the knees. You can do that the whole time if you'd like. And I'll also offer advancements for those of you who'd like to take it. And as always, just listen to your body, take the practice at your own pace, and know that you can take a break at any time during the practice. Also just wanted to say thank you to you guys for wearing your masks, being so good about keeping your masks on, and about social distancing, we appreciate it. So without further ado, we will go ahead and get started on the back today. So come to lie down. Any shape that is comfortable for you to rest in here, and that could be legs extended out long, arms down by the side, and that could also be knees bent, feet resting on the mat. Again, just any comfortable resting place. Give yourself a few breaths to just settle into your shape. Each exhale, feeling yourself root down a little bit deeper into your mat. Relax your shoulders. Unclench your jaw and relax the muscles in your forehead. And start to tune into your breath. You don't have to change anything, just become aware. Feel how your breath naturally flows in and out through your nose. Your chest rising on the inhales. and falling on the exhales. We'll start our practice with a nice full cleansing breath. Take a full inhale in through your nose, fill all the way up. And then take a nice full exhale out through your mouth. One more nice full inhale in through your nose. And a full exhale out through your mouth. Wherever you are with the legs, start to draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice little squeeze here. It might feel good to rock a bit from side to side. And slowly start to bring yourself back through center. Squeeze the knees in just a little bit tighter. Then lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Start to draw your chin in towards your chest, making yourself into a nice, tight little ball here, your full wind-relieving pose. Take a few breaths here. It may not seem like much at first, but this is actually a very active shape. We're compressing the throat, drawing the chin in toward the chest, starting to engage the core a little bit more. A few more breaths. Take one last breath here. In through your nose. And out. Keep your knees in towards your chest. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders for a moment. Start to release the arms down by your sides, palms facing up toward the ceiling. Then lift your legs so that the soles of your feet come to face the ceiling. From here, start to re-lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. 
then slowly start to lower the legs down to a hover. See if you can keep your low back gently pressing into the mat. So coming into a hollow body shape here. Few breaths core starting to fire up. I'm sure you can feel it here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees back into your chest. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Give your knees a nice little squeeze. Start to bring yourself back through center. We'll set up for a second round. Arms come down by the sides, palms facing up. Legs lift up toward the ceiling. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. And then slowly lower the feet down to a hover. And it could be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on how you feel here. When your feet come to lower, this time we'll start to flutter, kick the feet up and down few breaths here. Can you flutter a little bit faster? There's a shark. It's coming to get you. You need to get away from the shark. The faster you flutter the feet, the, more, the better your chances of survival. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Rock a little bit from side to side. Start to bring yourself back through center. This time, create a little bit of rocking up and down on the spine. So starting to rock toward a seated position. From here, start to either rock or press your way all the way up to a seat. Once you come into your seat, take the hands down to the mat and make your way onto your knees into a tabletop position. Hands are positioned just below the shoulders, knees below the hips here. We'll take a few moments to warm up the wrists. We're going to be doing some weight bearing here, so we want to make sure the wrists are nice and ready to bear that weight. So we'll just start to shift the weight a little bit from side to side. Over to the right wrist, around in a circle, over to the left wrist. Take a few circles in one direction. And then a few more circles in the opposite direction. And slowly bring yourself back through center. This time take the hands so that the fingers face in toward the body. See if you can plant down through the heels of the hands. And then start to create a little bit of movement here. That could be a little bit of movement from side to side, shifting forward and back. If you'd like to stretch out a little bit more into the wrists and even into the hands, you could start to lift the heels of the hands, take a slight bend in the elbows and shift your weight back. It's gonna get a little bit further into the hands, into the fingers. And slowly start to release, bring the heels of the hands back down. And then take your right hand, shake it out. And bring the fingers to face back in their neutral position and then shake out the left hand, coming back into your tabletop. From here, we'll take the left leg to extend out behind you. Gently rest the toes on the mat. And from here, bring the left leg up to a hover. Slowly start to draw the left toes over to the right side of the body. Tap the left toes on the mat. And then slowly making a nice big circle, start to lift the left leg and bring it all the way over to the left. Tap the left toes down. We'll go back in the other direction. Nice big circle, bring the left toes over to the right side. And then a nice big circle all the way back to the left. Few more rounds here at your own pace. You can start to feel the outer hip muscles engaging here, both in the left and the right leg. The left leg has to work to create this movement, and the right leg has to work to stabilize yourself You'll, here. You'll start to feel a burn through the outer right glutes. And take one more full circle here. And start to bring the left knee back through center. Plant the left knee down back into your tabletop. Sway out the hips from side to side for a moment. And bring yourself back through center. We'll take that same movement on the right side. Extend the right leg out long. 
and start to lift the right leg to a hover. This time we'll take the right toes to cross all the way over to the left side. Tap the toes, re-lift the right leg, making a nice big circle, bring the toes over to the right side. Few circles here at your own pace. Few more, four, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release back through center, both knees down into your tabletop. Sway out the hips for a breath or two. And start to make your way back through center in your tabletop. We're gonna set up for some plank alignment in the upper body here. We're trying to imagine the hands actively pressing down into the mat, almost as if you're pressing the mat away. That's gonna create a little bit of a doming sensation in the upper back as the shoulder blades energize up toward the ceiling. Keeping the upper body just like it is, tuck the toes. Take a nice full inhale in. As you do, press into the hands and the toes to lift the knees to a hover. Your choice how high it might just be an inch or two off the mat, or you could start to lift the knees up just a little bit higher. Full round of breath in through your nose and out. Slowly release the knees back down. We're gonna take one more round. Hands and feet stay right where they are. Tuck the toes, take a full breath in, lift the knees to a hover. This time from here, we'll keep the left foot where it is. Start to step the right foot back and tap the right toes. And step the right foot right back into where it was. And then step the left foot back, tap the left toes. Left foot comes back in. Step the right leg back, right toes in. Left leg back, left toes in at your own pace here. Few more breaths. You can keep it nice and slow if you'd like or you might start to speed it up a little bit. Take one more full round, each leg, and then start to bring both toes back in. Lower the knees at any point if you need here. Give yourself a little bit of break. We're gonna start to fatigue through the upper arms, I know. So we're gonna think about taking that same motion, except this time, we'll step the right leg back, but keep the toes to a hover and step the right foot back in. Step the left leg out, left toes to a hover. Left leg back in. Right leg out, toes to a hover. Right leg in. Left leg back to a hover. Left leg in. Few breaths here. Stay connected to your breath. If at any point you get overwhelmed, reconnect to your breath. Nice full inhales in. And full exhales out. Nice job. Take one more full round, each side, and start to bring the toes back in. Lower the knees for a moment, sway out the hips, get a little drink. When everyone's ready, we'll meet back in that same tabletop position. Hands beneath shoulders and knees beneath the hips. So come right into your upper body engagement here. Hands pressing down into the mat, backs of the shoulder blades lifting. Tuck the toes under, take a nice full inhale in, and lift the knees to a hover. This time we will step the right leg back, keeping the toes to a hover. From here, start to pulse the right leg up and down toward the ceiling. You might like to flex through the right toes here. That's gonna create a little bit more engagement through the back of the right leg. Super good, guys, for five, four, three, two, and one. Step the right foot back in. Take a full breath in and out. Same movement on the left side. Send the left leg back, left toes to a hover. Pulse the left leg up and down. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Step the left leg back in. Full breath in. And out. Starting to step the right leg back again. I know you guys are hating me right now. So those, I know, I know. I'm hating myself holding this position. 
So those little crossover kicks we took in the warm up from our tabletop, we're gonna take these here too. So we'll step the right foot back, start to lift the right leg, take the right toes over to the left, and then lift the right toes all the way up, back over to the right side. Not gonna be able to do this in talk, so I'm just gonna watch you guys. Couple breaths here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, step the right leg back in. Nice full inhale in, full exhale out. Setting up on the left side, knees are lifted to a hover. This time step the left leg back, left toes to a hover. We'll cross the left toes over to the right side, around in a circle and over to the left. Back to the right, and back to the left. For five, four, three, two, and one. So good, guys. Step the toes back in, lower down to the knees. Come into a child's pose for a few breaths. Knees out nice and wide, toes to touch in the back. Sit the hips back, and crawl the hands forward. If this is uncomfortable for any reason on the hips, you could always take an embryo pose with the knees together and the arms behind you, letting the forehead rest on the mat. A few breaths here. Start to reconnect to your breath. Long, steady inhales in. And long, steady exhales out. Take a nice, full cleansing breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more, bigger inhale in through your nose and sigh it out through your mouth. Slowly start to crawl the hands back in toward the body, lift the chest start to come back into a tabletop. You know, we were gonna take that same sequence from a plank pose, but since we don't have time, you guys got lucky today. So you're welcome. Not gonna lie, that would have been tough for me too. So we're back in our tabletop hands position, just below the shoulders, knees below the hips. From here, bring your right hand a little bit further toward the center of the mat. Take a nice full inhale and start to extend the left arm up toward the ceiling. As you exhale, we'll feed the left arm beneath the right. So taking a little thread the needle variation, but here we're gonna keep the left arm hovering, left hand and shoulder hovering. As you inhale, send the left arm back up toward the ceiling. Exhale, feed the left arm through, left shoulder, left arm, left hand to a hover. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, feed the left arm through. Few more here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, send the left arm through. One more, inhale, reach up. And exhale, feed through. This time we'll hold here, few breaths. See if you can reach a little bit further through the left fingertips. Left arm is still hovering. So you're really trying to Reach over to the right with the left fingertips. Lots of energy through the left arm. Full breath in. And out. Slowly start to feed the left arm back through. And then plant the left hand back down to the mat. Back into your tabletop. From here, we'll bring the left hand a little bit further toward the center of the mat. Take a nice full inhale in and send the right arm up. As you exhale, feed the right arm beneath the left, right shoulder, right arm, right hand to a hover. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, feed through. Three more here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, send the right arm through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, feed through. Last one here. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, feed through and hold. Right shoulder, right arm, right hand hovering. Lots of energy through the right fingertips, reaching over to the left. Full breath in through your nose and out slowly release bring the right arm back through center plant the hands back beneath under the shoulders so from here we're going to transition into a gate once we transition i'm going to turn around so you can guys can see me from your angle so from here we'll pivot the left shin to face over to the left side of the mat keep the left hand right where it is and then extend the right leg so that the toes face the right side of the mat. And I'll turn around so you guys can see this from your view. We'll send the right arm up and overhead. So we're getting a nice long stretch all throughout the right side body here. Start to think about shifting your weight a little bit further into your left hand. Then engaging the outer glute and outer right hip muscle, start to lift the right leg up to a hover. We're still reaching through the right fingertips here. This will be our inhale position. So we'll inhale to prepare. As you exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow, taking a crunch position. Inhale, extend the right arm, right leg. This time on the exhale, we'll feed the right arm beneath the left arm. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow to crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, feed the right arm beneath the left. Few more here. Inhale, extend. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, feed the right arm under last round here. Inhale, extend. Exhale to crunch nice and strong. Inhale, extend. Exhale, feed the right arm beneath the left. As you release, bring the right toes back down to the mat. Start to relift the torso and shift back into our tabletop, facing the front of the mat. Shake out the hips for a second. We're gonna set up for that same sequence on the right side. So this time, we'll take the right shin to come out toward the right side of the mat. Left toes will come to face the left side of the mat. We're going to keep the right hand right where it is. And send the left arm overhead, creating a nice stretch through the left side body. And just shift your weight a little bit further into the right hand, engaging the outer left hip and glute muscle. Start to lift the left leg to a hover. Take a full inhale to prepare here. As you exhale, draw the left elbow to the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, this time left arm feeds beneath the right. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left knee to left elbow to crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left arm beneath right. Two more here. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, left arm beneath right. Last round, inhale, extend. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left arm beneath right. As you inhale, slowly release, left toes back down. Shift your way back into your tabletop. Draw the right shin back in. And left knee to meet the right. Shake out the hips for a second. Get a quick drink. And we'll meet back in our tabletop position. Wherever you are, start to make your way back into your tabletop. Hands below the shoulders and knees below the hips. Keeping the hands right where they are. Start to tuck your toes under. Take a nice full breath in. Send your hips up and back into a downward facing dog just for a few breaths here. Pedal out the feet for a moment if that would feel nice. Wake up the hamstrings a little bit. You could sway the hips from side to side. And start to find some stillness here in your downward facing dog. 
lift up your big toes to touch. On your inhale, lift the left leg up toward the ceiling. On the exhale, start to draw your left knee in towards your nose and hold for three, two, and one. Inhale, send the left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee to nose and hold. Can you engage the core a little bit more? Lift the knee up a little bit higher. Two, and one. Inhale, send the left leg up and back. This time, exhale, step your left foot to the inside of your left thumb, coming into a runner's lunge position. Now try to find some nice strong stability through the feet here. So we're rooting down through all edges of the left foot and then pressing up nice and high onto the ball of the right foot. So starting to engage the muscles through the back of the right leg a little bit more and lifting through the back of the right knee crease. From here, plant your right hand down to the mat just outside of the left foot. Make a nice full inhale in and send the left arm up for a twist. You might turn your gaze up past your left fingertips if that's comfortable here. We're trying to imagine the arms really reaching in two different directions. So we're having some lift through the torso here. We're not collapsing down toward the mat. You might even start to bring the right fingertips to a hover here if that's comfortable. Full breath in. And out. Slowly start to release the left hand back down to the mat, coming back into your runner's lunge. From here, bring just the fingertips down to the mat. So it'll probably be just your middle fingers touching the mat. Then see if you can draw your shoulders back just a little bit further. So you're broadening through the collarbones here, having a slight lift through the chest. You might even be able to turn your gaze forward. Keeping the same energy through the chest, start to lift the fingertips up to a hover. So it could just be hovering a little teeny tiny centimeter off the mat. Or you could start to lift the fingertips up a little bit higher. We're still drawing the shoulders back here. On your next inhale, start to press into the feet. Sweep the arms up, coming into a high lunge. We're still nice and high on the ball of the right foot. Then as you exhale, we'll start to send the chest back down just where we were. This time sending the arms behind the back for airplane arms. Nice job. I'm gonna take a few rounds of that movement with the breath. So we'll inhale, sweep up to our high lunge. Exhale, send the arms back to our airplane arms. Chest stays parallel to the mat. Few more here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, send the arms back. Last round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, send the arms back and hold here. One full round of breath. In through your nose. And out. Keeping the lower body right where it is, start to release the hands back down to the mat to frame the left foot. You might need to look up toward me for a moment if it would be some help to have a visual here. So this right here will be our inhale pose. So we'll take a nice full inhale to prepare. Then on the exhale, we're gonna shift the weight forward into the left foot and bring the right knee behind the left. On the inhale, we're gonna step the right toes back to our runner's lunge. Exhale, shift forward, bring the right knee behind the left. Inhale, right toes come back, runner's lunge. Exhale, shift forward, right knee behind the left. Take a few more rounds here at your own pace with your own breath. You can move as fast or as slow as you'd like here. It's your breath, your body, your practice. Nice job, guys. Take one more full round. And the next time the right knee comes behind the left, find some stillness here. Crunch the right knee in just a little bit further toward the back of the left knee crease. And then keeping this slight bend in the left knee, step the right foot forward to meet the left. Keep the bend in the knees, sitting the hips down. Take a full breath in and sweep the arms up. Coming into a chair pose, I know, everyone's favorite. 
See if you can turn your gaze down towards your toes for a moment and just try to see if the big toes are touching. We can do a wide, more of a wide stance chair, but ideally, we like the big toes to touch. Few breaths here. See if you can feel the weight in the heels of your feet. You might even be able to peel your toes off the mat, wiggle them around for a moment. One more breath, guys. Nice job. Full inhale in. And a full exhale out. So we start to lengthen the legs. Take the hands down to the mat. Hang in a fold for a few breaths. Might feel nice to sway out the hips. Release a little bit of tension in the hip flexors that we just created by being in that lunge for so long. When you're ready, start to plant down through the hands. Step the feet back, coming back into your downward facing dog. Take a nice full cleansing breath here. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Step your big toes to touch. On your inhale, lift the right leg up toward the ceiling. As you exhale, draw your right knee in towards your nose and hold for three, two, and one. Inhale, send the right leg back. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Three, two, and one. Inhale, send the right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot to the inside of the right thumb. Runner's lunge. Stay on the toes here. Find your stability through the feet. Lifting up nice and high onto the ball of the left foot. Lifting through the back of the left knee crease. Then plant your left hand down to the mat, just outside the right foot. Take a full breath in and send the right arm up for a twist. Gaze can turn up toward the right fingertips if that's accessible here. A few more breaths. You might start to hover the left fingertips. Full breath in and out. Slowly release, bring the right hand back down to the outside of the right foot. Not changing a thing through the lower body here, lifting nice and high onto the ball of the left foot. We'll start to bring just the fingertips down to the mat. Shoulders draw back, chest presses forward, starting to broaden a little bit more through the collarbones. And start to lift the fingertips up just a little bit higher. Bring the fingertips up to a hover. Your choice how high could be just a little hover. Could be a little bit higher of a hover. On your next inhale, start to press into the feet. Send the arms up into your high lunge. As you exhale, we'll bring the torso down. Send the arms back and behind you, coming into airplane arms. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up. Exhale, send the arms back, torso comes down parallel to the mat. Few more rounds here, inhale, reach up. Exhale, send the arms back. Last one, inhale, reach up. Exhale, send the arms back and hold. Few breaths here, I know the right leg is starting to fatigue, believe me, I feel it too, it's not just you. Take a full breath in and out. Slowly release the hands back down to the mat to frame the right foot. So setting up for, I don't even know what to call this pose, it's a little bit of movement we took with the breath. This will be our inhale position. As you exhale, start to shift the weight into the right foot and step or cross the left knee behind the right. As you inhale, send the right toes back, left toes back into your runner's lunge. Exhale, shift forward, left knee behind the right. Inhale, step the left toes back. Exhale, left knee behind right. Few more rounds here at your own pace. Almost done here, guys, almost to the good stuff. Take one more full round here. The next time the left knee draws behind the right, Find some stillness, crunch in just a little bit deeper. Keeping this bend in the right knee, start to step the left foot forward to meet the right into your chair pose. 
Keep the knees bent, hips down. Take a full breath in and sweep the arms up. We won't be here long, I promise. One full round of breath. In through your nose and out. So we start to lengthen the legs, take the hands down to the mat and take a few breaths in a fold. From here, keep the hands down to the mat. Start to step the feet back and make your way onto your knees. Setting up for the nice half of class. We'll start to make our way into a child's pose. Take the knees out nice and wide. Toes to touch in the back. Sit the hips back. Crawl the hands forward. Again, if this is uncomfortable for any reason on the hips, now you have embryo pose as an option here. Knees to touch. Arms back and behind you. Forehead resting on the mat. Give yourself a few breaths to really settle into this shape here. You might play around with taking the knees out a little bit wider or a little more narrow. Just trying to find the place where you can sit back the furthest into your hips. Each exhale, feel yourself settle in a bit deeper. weight in the lower body. See if you can start to crawl the fingertips out just a little bit further. We're still staying on the palms here. This is going to make our restful child's pose just a little bit more active. As the fingertips crawl forward, we actively have to use our strength to draw the hips back. So we're starting to lengthen a bit through the front side of the body, getting a nice stretch through the fronts of the shoulders into the armpits, as well as lengthening a lot through the spine here. Keeping this engagement through the upper body, slowly start to crawl the hands over to the left side of the mat. You can either stack or stagger the hands here, either leaving the hands next to one another, or maybe bringing the right hand to rest on top of the left. So we're still reaching through the fingertips here. See if you can shift your weight back a little bit further into your right hip. So it's gonna create just a little bit more length through the spine, as well as give us a nice long stretch all through the right side body. Slowly start to crawl the hands back through center and then over to the right side of the mat, either keeping the hands next to one another or bringing the left hand to rest on top of the right. This time seeing if you can shift your weight back just a little bit deeper into your left hip. Start to crawl the hands back through center into your child's pose. Take one full round of breath here in through your nose and out. Start to crawl the hands 
And a little bit closer toward the body. And we'll think about transitioning onto the belly in whatever way is comfortable to get there. Once you've come down to your belly, you can send your arms down by your sides for a few breaths, either turning the head to either side to rest on the cheek or the temple, or maybe letting yourself rest on the forehead. If you're resting on the forehead, you could roll the forehead a little bit from side to side on the mat, giving yourself a nice little massage. From here, take your left arm out to a T beside you, palm facing down toward the ground. And take your right hand, place it beneath your right shoulder. Using this right hand on the mat, start to press down so that you can roll yourself over to the left shoulder. Your top leg, your right leg can drop behind you to use as a little kickstand here. This is gonna help to stretch out through the shoulders, Give the shoulders a little bit of love after all that stuff we did in our plank position. You have a few options with the right arm here. The right hand could stay right where it is if this is comfortable. The right hand could also start to crawl forward toward the front edge of the mat, giving you a little bit more stretch through the front of the right arm. You could also take the right arm behind the back, coming into a half bind here. Also gonna give you a little bit more stretch through the right shoulder. release any binds you may have taken. Bring the right hand back down to the mat beneath the shoulder and start to roll back down to the belly. From here, the left hand will come down to the mat beneath the left shoulder. Right arm out to a T beside you, palm facing down. Press into the left hand. Allow yourself to roll over to the right shoulder. Left toes can drop behind you for a little kickstand. You have all those same options with the left arm here. took any variations with the left arm. So we start to release the left hand back down to the mat and roll yourself back down to the belly. Take both hands down beneath the shoulders and press into the hands to lift the chest. Come onto your knees, eventually making your way into a seated position, shins crossed. Allow yourself to have a nice neutral spine here, shoulders rolled back. Draw your chin in towards your chest. From here, take your hands to interlace behind the head, taking them right about to where the skull and the neck meet. Allow yourself to apply a gentle pressure down to the neck. Let the elbows drape down and hang nice and heavy. It might even feel nice to use your thumbs right at the nape of the neck to give yourself a little massage here.
keeping your chin and towards your chest. Slowly release the hands and bring the hands back down to the lap. Slowly begin to roll your left ear over to your left shoulder. And bring the head back through center, chin in towards your chest. And then roll the right ear over to the right shoulder. Bring the chin back in toward the chest. And then over to the left side. Take a few of these little half circles with the neck. Then start to turn these half circles into full circles, bringing the head all the way back and around. Take a few circles in the opposite direction. Slowly start to bring yourself back through center. Lift the chin from the chest. From here, we'll set up for a little twist. We'll take a nice full inhale to prepare. We sit up nice and tall. On the exhale, twist the torso over to the left side. So the right hand will come to the outside of the left knee. Left fingertips tented on the mat behind you. We can really use the breath here to get a little bit deeper into this twist. See if you can think about inhaling to lengthen through the spine, sit up nice and tall, draw the shoulders back. And exhaling to gently twist a little bit deeper. Not forcing yourself into the twist, not applying any pressure here, just allowing the exhale to gently guide you in. You might find that it's comfortable to turn the gaze over the left shoulder at some point. And take one more full breath here. After your exhale, slowly release back through center. Hands back down to the lap. Take an inhale to prepare, setting up on the right side. And then exhale to twist over to the right. This time left hand to the outside of the right knee and right fingertips behind you. Inhaling to lengthen. And exhaling to twist. A few more breaths here. Full breath in and out. Slowly release, bring yourself back through center. Or you can take the hands down by the sides. Start to make your way onto your back in whatever way is comfortable to get there. Once you've come down to your back, draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, maybe rock a bit from side to side. And then bring yourself back through center. Take your right arm out to a T beside you. And take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Use the left hand to gently draw the knees over to the left side for a twist. Allow your breath to flow to wherever you need it here. If you're feeling the sensation a little bit more in the back and through the rotation through the spine, allow the breath to flow into the back, feeling each inhale travel all the way up the spine, expanding the spine. The exhales carrying you a little bit deeper into your twist. If you're feeling it a bit more through the outer hip in IT band area, allow the breath to travel into the hip. Each inhale, feeling the hip expand, creating some space there. 
and exhaling to settle in a little bit further. Slowly start to bring your knees back in towards your chest. Give yourself another little squeeze. And then take the left arm out to a T beside you. Take the right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently draw the knees over to the right side for a twist. Again, allowing your breath to travel to wherever you need it most here. Slowly guide your knees back in towards your chest. Give yourself one last little squeeze. We'll release coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. So we'll take the soles of the feet together to rest on the mat. Let the knees come out nice and wide here. You might even take the hands to the insides of the thighs to gently encourage the knees to lower. With each exhale, see if you can find a part of your body to soften. Take a little scan, trying to identify any places you may be holding tension in the body, any muscles you may still be flexing or clenching. Allow them to soften with each out breath. to tune in to the rise and the fall of your chest, feeling your chest rise on the inhales and fall on the exhales. From this position, slowly start to slide the legs out, lengthening the legs, coming into Shavasana. If there's any other position that would be more comfortable to rest in, feel free to make your way there now. Give yourself a few breaths to really settle into this shape. Allow yourself to get out any last little wiggles or fidgets you need to get yourself comfortable. and then start to settle into stillness. Relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Unclench your jaw, release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Relax the muscles in your forehead. Allow your breath to naturally lengthen and deepen here.
Take a full breath in. And out. Start to bring a little bit of movement back into your body. Wiggle out your fingers and your toes, ankles and your wrists. And send your arms back in behind you for a morning stretch. Reach all the way from your fingers to your toes. Feel free to roll into the fetal position on either side if it would be comfortable here. Take a few breaths when you get there. When everyone's ready, we'll meet back in a seat at the top of the mat. Hands to heart center, eyes closed. I'll end today's practice with three deep cleansing breaths. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Bigger inhale in through your nose. Bigger exhale out through your mouth. Take your biggest inhale in through your nose. And your biggest exhale out through your mouth. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Thank you for allowing me to share this space with you. And thank you for letting me serve you. Namaste. Thanks so much, guys. You're welcome. Another big round of applause for Blue Shield of Northeastern New York for putting on this event. And another thank you to you guys for wearing masks, social distancing. You guys are the best. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night, great rest of your week, and hope to see you on your mat soon. Hi, I'm Kirsten from the Hot Yoga Spot. Thanks so much for joining today's class. If you'd like to join us in person for an upcoming class, you can find out more information on our website, empirestateplaza.ny.gov. And a special thank you to our sponsor, Blue Shield of Northeastern New York, for making these classes happen. Thanks again. Hope to see you on your mat soon.